fantastic week. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how to make these five heart-shaped pizzas out of Palmer clay. I'll also be giving away these pizzas to one lucky crafter. Watch till the end of this video to find out how. So without further ado, let's get started. For this project, you will need polymer clay in these colors, dotting tools, a craft knife, a toothbrush, liquid clay, paintbrushes, chalk pastels in orange and brown, glaze, magnets, and glue. Roll some beige clay into a thin sheet. Cut out a heart shape using your craft knife. Clean up the edges using your fingers. Fold over the edges for the crust. Then use a large dotting tool to give the center of the pizza some texture. Using some orange chalk pastels, dust the crust. This gives it a more realistic look. Use the bristles of a toothbrush to texture the crust. Then dust some brown chalk pastels for a more baked look. For the pizza sauce, mix reddish brown clay and liquid clay into a crumbly paste like so. Add this onto your pizza. For the first layer of cheese, mix yellow and translucent clay with liquid clay into a thick mixture and add that on. Do the same for the other four pizzas. Once that's done, bake your pizzas in the oven for 5 minutes at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. This semi-hardens your pizzas so we have an easier base to work with. Once they're out of the oven and have completely cooled down, add on another layer of cheese. Now let's start simple with a pepperoni pizza. Mix red and brown clay and roll it into a log. Cut each pepperoni and flatten into tiny circles. Dust them with brown chalk pastels for a more realistic look. Add these onto the pizza and texture them using a dotting tool. Let's make the Hawaiian pizza next. For the ham, mix pink and translucent clay and flatten it into a thin sheet. Cut tiny squares with a craft knife and add those on. For the bacon, cut tiny squares of brown clay. Finally, for the pineapples, cut rectangular pieces of yellow clay. For the vegetarian pizza, cut red cubes for the tomatoes. Then, for the green peppers, combine a layer of green clay with translucent clay and cut this into thin strips. For the olives, roll tiny spheres of black clay and indent a hole into each as you add them onto the pizza. Now for the mushrooms, use a craft knife and cut mushroom shapes onto a sheet of light beige clay. Then, dust them with dark brown chalk pastels. Indent the centers with a dotting tool and add those on. For the Canadian pizza, add on pepperonis and mushrooms. For the bacon crumble, take some brown clay and chop it into tiny bits. Use your fingers to lightly scratch off the clay to add some texture. 
Once you're happy with your pizzas, bake them in the oven at 260 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes or follow the instructions on your clay package. Once they've cooled down completely, add on a coat of glaze, but skip the crust. Glue on some magnets and let that dry for at least 4 hours. on a fridge or locker. In last week's video, I did a giveaway on these emoji magnets and over 10,000 of you guys entered, which is completely ridiculous. I had an amazing time reading your comments. You guys are so hilarious and thoughtful and I could not be more grateful to have such amazing viewers like you. But of course, only one of you can win these emojis. So the winner is... If you are this person, please email me with your shipping address and we'll go from there. Now, if you didn't win these emojis, don't fret, because since you guys were so enthusiastic, I decided to do another giveaway. One of you will be winning these five pizza magnets that we made today. All you have to do to enter is first, be subscribed to this channel, second, give this video a big thumbs up, and third, comment down below your favorite type of pizza. And that's it! The winner will be chosen randomly and will be announced in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you all very very much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!